When I came to Balanced View, what I really loved was that there was nothing special about me that needed to be in place. So I didn't need to um, be from a certain country or have a certain religion or have a certain practice or a certain job relationship or whatever um, we think is needed in order to, to be relaxed and to be empowered. And um, I could just come here and see that this simple practice of the short moments that we just also heard about where we can just relax body and mind completely just for a short moment the brilliant thing is we don't need to try to prolong it the sense of complete ease and 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 um, relaxation just for a short moment when we go about our everyday life and we can do it everywhere so whatever we are doing and we are going to the beach or we are working or we are speaking with people we are doing exercise or i mean everything everything we do we can take a short moment and relax body and mind completely oh it's so relaxing to do that and i mean i used to always have all my my whole day was filled with going after my data so all of my thoughts and emotions and trying to rearrange them. Mostly I analyzed them, why I felt in this situation like that, with that person I feel a bit more like this, and uh, trying to figure out why. Is it because my parents did that to me, or my brother hit me when I was five, or you know, like everything. I always try to figure out why I had certain kinds of data, certain kinds of emotion, and it was so exhausting to try to figure out and blaming other people for how I felt, or um, yeah, trying to basically always have good thoughts and emotion, positive ones. So I replaced a lot. When I felt sad or angry, I tried to, no, I'm, I'm not angry now, as so I try to replace it and, and not allow these, these feelings to come up and really try to really juggle them and keep them at bay. And um, so when I came first here, and was invited to allow everything to be as it is. It, it was a bit scary that how can I let anger be as it is? Will I not just burst and be really um, yeah, angry and, and unbeneficial to people? Or what will happen? Or when I let sadness be as it is, will I you know, get lost in it? Or how does it work? But I thought, okay, I will test it out, what happens. And what I found was amazing. It was really that I could allow sadness, I could allow anger to be as it is and not be affected by it anymore in my everyday life. In my relating with people, I wasn't anymore washed away with it. It didn't, you know, it didn't, wasn't a wall between me and somebody else or in my life or I couldn't do my daily things because I was all in my thoughts and emotions. Suddenly I could function perfectly if I was angry, sad, nervous, or whatever it was, happy, I mean everything. I just mentioned the negative ones because they are always the ones we want to get rid of, but I mean it applies to all um, positive, negative and neutral um, data streams. We are completely unaffected, whatever life throws at us. We can be completely stable, clear and know what to do. I always wanted to know what to do, to, you know, like sometimes I just couldn't see what would be the most beneficial action because I was caught up in my thoughts and emotions and to test that out, to allow everything to be as it is, all thoughts, emotions, sensations in a short moment allowed me to just become more and more clear, seeing more clearly. Like when we're on the top of the mountain, we see everything clearly. That's how we, we see from the vantage of open intelligence. We see everything, we see all our data popping up. Like when it's New Year's, you know, like all the fireworks, it pops up. That's how the data, they just pop up, some louder, some a bit uh, more silent, some more beautiful, some really not so nice. You know, like everything, <laughs> just like that whole display. And that's how all our thoughts and emotions are. It's the, just the whole display of um, beneficial energy that we just can allow as it is and um, to be as it is and be completely unaffected. Like the sky is completely unaffected by all that appears in it, even if it's New Year. You know, it's just like everything just pops up and all clouds go by and leave no trace. Like the flight path of a bird of a, in the sky, it doesn't leave any trace. That's the same with all our thoughts and emotions, with all our data. They arise 
they hang out a while and then they just self-release. That's the nature of every thought, emotion and sensation. We cannot hold on to them. We cannot change them. We cannot change them into better ones. So we might as well can just relax as they arise, abide and resolve. So we don't need to do anything with them. And that was really a revelation for me. Somebody who was completely analyzing my whole life and trying to fix myself and change myself and now to really see, wow, I can allow things to be as they are and then really tap into my power and see clearly into my beneficial power to know what to do and how to act most beneficially. It's really brilliant. And <clears throat> so that's what I then did. I just tested it out for a few um, weeks and um, I could immediately see benefits. I mean, with the, it's so immediate. We tried out the short moments and we can see already, oh, wow, there's a little bit more ease within our life. And it just, it's like a snowball. It just chick, 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 gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, like it's so, it becomes so automatic and so effortless to rely on our true nature, to rely on open intelligence. And um, so we really see the benefits right away and then that motivates us also to come back. That was with me. So after a few open meetings, I could really see the benefits and then like, okay, I want to really know more about that. I want to know more about my beneficial nature. I want to know how I can more use my speech, mind, body of most benefit, how I can really use my capacity as a human being to fully take all my potential and contribute it to the benefit of all. It's amazing what each human being has to contribute and that's what we more and more um, see within our experience. That's what I more and more saw when I um, involved myself more and more in this training, this ongoing ease within myself and um, capacity, but also the power to, to be of benefit. Always I was so limited in how to benefit myself and that just opened up more and more. Suddenly it was not only about me anymore and trying to feel good, but more and more about, okay, how, what can we do for society? How can we really come together in this world? How we can live in peace and harmony? And I can see it within myself, more and more within my data stream, they come at peace and harmony and also my relationships with my family and friends. And, and so easeful and, and harmonious, which I always w w longed for, and now it's just, just becoming the reality. We can live peaceful with each other. And um, so that's also what I see for the world. You know, when we all take responsibility for our data, we're not acting out on our data, allowing them to be as they are. I mean, we, we can do so much for really a peaceful and harmonious um, world. And, that's what motivates me to come here every day, really to share my experience and, and see that it's, because I see within myself that it's possible, that we can make a change. And together, coming together here, working in teams and, and everybody just focused on the benefit of all, we get things done so effortlessly and effectively. It just, yeah, really beautiful to see. And um, so that, that's really, it, it just, takes over also that just that um, yeah, motivation to be of benefit just very naturally. It's nothing that we need to contrive. Nothing needs to be contrived. That's amazing also. I always try to be a good person, to be peaceful, to be compassionate. And it never really worked in all circumstances. And now it just, yeah, it's our natural state. We don't need to effort for it. It's natural to us. And that's what we've become more and more familiar with in our own experience. And we have the whole support and empowerment network, as we just also heard, that, that will just allow us to more and more gain familiarity with our true nature. It's so, it's so natural, I mean, it, it's our true nature, so it's so natural that it becomes effortless so easily. So we have the um, support network of using the short moments wherever we are, we have a trainer that we can always be in touch with. We have the community here and we have trainings we offer. Especially here in Goa, it's brilliant to be here. And um, because we have open meetings every day with different trainers from all over the world. And we also hear participants share their experience. 
And then we have each week a one-day training on Saturday. That's the first step, basically, coming to the open meetings, just getting to know the terminology and hearing experiences and shares, and then doing a one-day training to test it out, and the, our written trainings. And um, so we have a few introductory trainings, and then we offer the 12 Empowerments um, uh, training, which is a 12-day training that completely changed my life. It completely changed everything about myself that I took myself to be and also how I could, I, I got really um, powerful tools in how I can live my everyday life most effectively in relationships, in my workplace. So, so practical, really applied to my everyday life. So it was a 12-day training that is, um, yeah, that really applies it completely to your own life and sees what, what keeps us really from being completely at ease and relaxed and potent. So we can really apply that to our life. So we have it at the end of the month, we offer one of the 12 empowerments. So, so these are the next step if you're, if you're um, looking into getting more involved in the training, doing the one day training for the introductory training and then the 12 empowerments. And you will also hear shares from participants and as as um, you can ask everyone also questions about their own direct experience in that. That was what was so striking for me when I came, hearing other people's experiences. Because then I saw, wow, I can really do that too. I can allow things to be as it is. Other people shared their experience. Like, wow, okay, it is possible. It's possible to be completely at ease in the midst of feeling anxious or in the midst of anger or in the midst of complete um, joy or feeling in love or whatever it is, you know, we can be at completely ease and have complete stability and in that seeing what will be of most benefit within our lives, how we can act, how we can relate that is of most benefit to ourselves and others. And that's for me the greatest blessing, to know my nature or the nature of my mind. That's what I see. There's so gratefulness to really know deeply what is all these data streams that are coming. What is the nature of our mind? How can I use my mind most beneficially for the benefit of all?